Hey everyone, in the news this week. Meghan Markle launched a new hustle, and this time around it's a range of jams. The idea presumably arose after they lost the Spotify deal and their accountant said they were in a financial jam, or possibly when they were stuck in a traffic jam trying to get to the airport in LA. Anyway, I've not tried it myself, although nor have I tried the one that King Charles sells, largely because I think paying a tenner for a strawberry jam you can make yourself is utterly bonkers, although the advertisers assure us it's meant for everyday normal middle class people, just like her after she gets home from the private polo or before they fly out to Tuscany on a private jet. You know, at least with Harry's book you could at least pick it up in the charity bin and prop open a door with it. Although I guess if this range of preserves up in the clearance aisle at Tesco, you could use it to trap wasps so it doesn't ruin a good barbecue. Elsewhere, in New York, they chose the jurors for Donald Trump's show trial. It makes you wonder if the city was importing the tens of thousands of illegal aliens simply to make it easier to assemble a jury of 12 people who didn't vote last time or have no preconceived ideas going into the trial. We have been given a few details, such as apparently juror number 8 lives in the Upper East Side, is retired and watches CNBC. Apparently juror number 5 is a teacher who gets her news from Google and TikTok. And given the state of affairs, I'm not sure whether an educator choosing to trust TikTok over other sources is a good thing or a bad thing. Although my money is on the whole thing being a mistrial or a hung jury, and thus being a $50 million waste of money that will achieve nothing other than possibly guaranteeing him a win in November's election. In the meantime, and just to add to the madness, a man set himself on fire outside the courthouse as part of a bizarre protest. It's not the first time that someone got badly burnt when Trump came to town, although normally it's a building contractor or something. Anyway, see you next week. Just like these, click subscribe.